measurement and physics. All physical quantities are described using both magnitude and a unit. The magnitude is the size or the or the how large the the value of the quantity is, and the unit is usually an agreed upon reference that everybody else in the scientific world can relate to. Example: a typical football field would be 100 meters in length. So the meters are the unit, and the magnitude is 100. So here are some other units that you'll need to un, uh, remember and be able to um, use correctly. Distance, measured in meters, and the symbol, of course, is M. Mass, measured in kilograms, and the symbol is kg. Time, measured in seconds, and the unit is small s. Force, measured in newton, and capital N. Current is measured in amperes, or amps for short, capital A for that. And temperature, well that's an interesting one. The scientific unit is Kelvin, capital K. Now you also need to know the shorthand notation that we use in scientific writing when we're dealing with very big or very small numbers. So we have Words like giga and mega, which you're probably familiar with already. Symbol for giga is capital G. And the size of that is a billion. And the factor would be 10 to the power of 9. Mega, capital M. That's a million. So I have a megabyte. I have a million bytes, 10 to the power of 6 is the factor. Kilo, you're familiar with already, with kilogram, the size is 1,000. And that's 10 to the 3 as a factor. Centi, you're familiar with, with from centimetres, well, small c for that. And the size of a centimetre is 1 hundredth, which we can write like so, or as a factor, 10 to the power of minus 2. A milli, small m, one thousandth of something, for example, a millimeter, and that's 10 to the power of 3. A micro, and that's one millionth, 10 to the power of minus 6. So, for example, we need to write these two numbers in shorthand notation. The first one is 2 billion watts. And that can be simply written as 2 gigawatts. And the next example, B, we have 0 0.008 amps, uh, more succinctly written as 8 milliamps. How to convert from um, a large number to a, to a shorthand version, perhaps, or how to add a prefix in general uh, onto a unit. You divide the original measured magnitude of the uh, value of the um, quantity by the size of the factor. For example, if we want to convert 1,000 grams into kilograms, we divide the 1,000 grams by the value of a kilo which is 1,000, so we end up writing out 1,000 divided by 1,000, and no surprise, we get 1 kilogram. So we've added in the prefix there, which is the K. Um, another example, convert 1,000 grams into milligrams, well, we divide the 1,000 by the factor or the size of a milli, which is, of course, uh, 10 to the power of minus 3. So we could put that down. It's the easiest way to write this. And, of course, that means you'd end up with a rather large uh, number of milligrams, no surprise, 1 million. 1 million milligrams. So not the most practical 
thing to do, adding in the milli, 4,000 grams. Uh, most likely we're going to go for this um, shorthand version. Now, working backwards, if you want to remove a prefix from a unit, uh, you need to multiply the original measured magnitude by the size or factor of the prefix. For example, A, convert 1,000 kilometers into meters. So we're going to basically multiply the 1,000 by the value of the K, uh, which of course is 10 to the power of 3, or 1,000. That will give us a million meters. Uh, if we wanted to know um, how many meters are one million, sorry, one billion millimeters is, once again, we take the billion, write it out, and multiply it by the value of a millimeter, which is 10 to the power of minus 3. So this time it should get smaller by a factor of 1,000, so we should get a million just squeeze it in there, meters.